É, não, é bem best, but doing best. <laughs> Hey there guys, how are you? Over the top impression, Sylvester Stallone, 1987, best movie ever made. Anyway guys, welcome to an all new Ask Anything where we talk about movies, life advice, and a lot of other weird, creepy things. And the first question of the day is, John, what do you think about Gerard Butler being removed from the Point Break remake. Now, he wasn't technically removed. He actually dropped out of the project. Uh, if you didn't know, Gerard Butler was actually going to play Bodhi, the Bufasta, the Bustafa? Yeah, either way, Patrick Swayze for life. Every time I close my night, eyes at night, I see Patrick Swayze's face with bleach blonde hair skydiving out of a plane. It's just a beautiful, magical thought. Oh my God, there's Johnny Utah jumping after him with a gun in his hand. He's not wearing a parachute. Anyway, I've said this once, I'll, I'll say it again. Point Break is one of my favorite movies ever made and probably one of my top five action movies ever made. Uh, just something about that movie. It's so, it, the spiritual connection because it's not about the money, man. It's about us against the system. It's about showing that the human spirit is still alive while everyone else is inching down the freeway in their metal coffins. I like that. That is great life advice. Just don't go rob a bank. But skydive and go surfing. Um, yeah. What were we talking about? Yes, uh, Gerard Butler will no longer be in the Point Break remake. Um, and you know what? I don't mind that. Do I like Gerard Butler? Yeah, I like the guy. Do I see him, him as the perfect Bodie? No, I think they can cast someone a little bit better for the role. Uh, and I'll give you my further thoughts in the movie, the remake of Point Break. I don't mind it. I love the first one so much, and I will always have that movie to hold on to if this new one sucks ass. Which there's a strong possibility that it could. Um, but I, I'd like to see it. I love heist movies, I love bank robber, robbery movies, and I would just like to see something else happen. Um, as far as who they could cast for the new Point Break remake as Bodhi, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to do some uh, extreme research on that, but I don't know. It'd be cool to see, like, um, he might not quite be old enough, but like Tom Hardy, grow a little bit of scruff, bleach his hair blonde. I could see Tom Hardy playing a new Bodie. He seems very laxed, like he has a good outlook on life. I'll go with that for now. So anyway, those are my quick thoughts on the Point Break remake. All right. Johnny Utah. All right, uh, let's keep going here. Which look of Quicksilver do you prefer, the one in X-Men, Days of Future Past, or in the Avengers 2? Oh, by far the one in the Avengers 2. Uh, Aaron Johnson, who's playing uh, Quicksilver, he actually sort of looks like the character Quicksilver from the comic books. Uh, the one in X-Men, Days of Future Past, does look a little bit hokey, uh, to say the least. But let's keep in mind, X-Men Days of Future Past Quicksilver takes place, he's in the 1970s. People wore gaudy bullshit, okay? So his little silver jumpsuit thing that he's wearing with his goggles, it's the 1970s, man. Disco was in, all right? So, I mean, if you could wear white bell bottoms with platform shoes, why can't you wear a silver fucking jacket? I don't know. Um... Hey, Johnny Flickster, can you do an impression of Commissioner Gordon as Gary Oldman? Uh, give me a second on that one. <clears throat> we buy Kevlar vests, they buy armor-piercing rounds. And that, that's all I have. That's from Batman Begins. What is your favorite actor? What's his best movie, in your opinion? A favorite actor? You know, where do I start with that? Uh, I got a few favorite actors of, of nowadays. Uh, like I just mentioned, Tom Hardy. Probably one of my favorite actors working right now. I've always been a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, too. Um, but, you know, I would say if I had to go with Tom Hardy, I'd probably say uh, Warrior would probably be one of my favorites of his. And old Leo, hmm, Leonardo DiCaprio. By the way, speaking of Leo, go watch The Basketball Diaries. Weird shit. It's a good movie, though. Mark Wahlberg's there, too. Um, also, uh, another Leo movie I really liked was What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Yanni! Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, let's keep going here. Hey, John, have you seen the new Gotham trailer TV show? Yeah, you know, I did watch the Gotham trailer TV show, and I'm going to say this. I, I'm not very interested in actually watching the series. Um, you know, and that's coming from a huge Batman fanboy. I, I just, something about it, it, just because they're throwing in characters or villains you might know from the Batman universe, the, the, just watching that trailer, they're like, here's the Riddler, here's young Catwoman. I, it, 
it seems a little bit hokish, a little bit. Um, and who wants to look at a 12-year-old Catwoman? I mean, I don't know. It seems like they're reaching a little bit. I mean, it could be a cool detective-type show that takes place in Gotham. But it just it doesn't feel right to me. It just something feels off. Um, why can't they just have an actual Batman TV show? I, I don't know. But will I give it a watch? I'll, I'll watch one ep I'll watch the first episode. If, if it if it sucks me in, I'll, I'll continue watching it. Uh, hey there, Jonathan Lipnicki. <laughs> what are okay? Are you of Oh, what are your thoughts on legalizing pot and gay marriage? By the way, Arnold impression, please. What are you doing over there? Jake Sully, come here and fight me. Put the cookie down. Terrible impressions. Please forgive me. Um, it's late. It really is late. What time is it? 1.44 in the morning. And by the way, I just got done shooting a movie news video. That'll be over on the Flick Pick channel. Check that out. Along with an all-new movie night video I just put up a few days ago that normally go on this channel, but I don't know. So I was feeling a little bit frisky. So the new movie night's over there on the Flick Pick channel right now. Go check it out. Link's down below. All right. Uh, legalizing pot. I think if alcohol is legal, pot should be legal. I mean, I've never met a guy who smoked pot and was a dickhead are accidentally got in a car accident by killing a small child you know alcohol usually causes those things but pot it just makes you tired man it just makes you tired and hungry um and i'm i i'm i'm not i don't use it i don't i'm you know i'm one of those guys like um i'll just hold my breath until i get really high or huff glue uh but yeah why not legalize it everywhere um it's just the government needs to tax it they need to make a profit on it first before it's okay. Um, and gay marriage. I don't... Marry whoever you want to. Mar the, marriage alone scares the hell out of me. All right? Marrying an, a woman would scare me. I don't know. But, yeah, if you if you love someone, that's the some person you want to be with, get married. And I don't know why the government ever had an issue with it. Married couples have to pay taxes, all kinds of other bullshit. It's like, why not? What's it going to hurt? It doesn't bother anyone. All right. Your thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy? I do want to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I, it looks like a fun popcorn summer flick that's not taking itself too serious. Well, it looks like a good time. Um, do I think I'm going to love the movie? I don't know about that. It looks entertaining, but it doesn't look like it's, it's going to blow me away. But I can't wait to check it out. Is it good to work out late and then sleep two hours after the workout? Hmm, work out late. Now, when you say work out late, do you mean like you go to work all day and then like that night you go into work out? Usually, if you do that kind of schedule, by the time you hit the gym, you're not be, you're not going to be able to give it everything you have, you know? Um, so, I would say work out at the point of the day where you have the most energy to give in the gym or else you're just kind of a lackluster workout. Um, but sleeping two hours after the workout... It never hurts to sleep, you know, that's when your body grows. You can go to the gym all you want and rip the hell out of your muscles, but they're actually not going to grow until you stop doing that. That's sleeping and resting is where you grow, not actually in the gym. That's just where you tear your body down, and then it regenerates like a wolverine, and it grows bigger after you keep tearing the muscles. That t-shirt you're wearing, how do you get one? Funny thing is, I'm literally wearing the exact same t-shirt I wore in the last Q&A, so it'll make sense to answer that. Uh, yeah, this is my Flip Pick t-shirt. Uh, links down below to redbubble.com. Uh, that's where you can pick them up. I have some other t-shirts. I just made one. I'll put uh, the image right here. Yeah, if you've seen Place Beyond the Pines, you might get it. The Moto Bandit. I've been saying it for about six months. I was going to make that shirt. Finally made it. Uh, I like it. So you got Ryan Gosling on a dirt bike robbing banks. That's badass shit. All right, would you rather watch the da dance sequence from Spider-Man 3 for two hours straight or hug a crying Lights Camera Jackson? Both those disgust me. Uh, I'll watch the Spider-Man dance scene over and over and over. Emo Peter Parker trying to be a badass with eyeliner on and greasy hair. It's like, oh no, Peter Parker's a badass, everyone. He didn't hold the door open for that guy. All right, let's keep going here. Hey, Johnny from the block. First, what is your favorite Matt Damon movie, and do you like Seven? Do I like Seven? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Love Seven. Sloth. All right. Favorite Matt Damon movie. 
I'd probably say Goodwill Hunting. Definitely Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, so I got, my friend was shrapnel on his ass. He's paying three seventy five for a gallon of gas, and he has a club of baby seal. Goes something like that. Yo, Flicky. When is your um, Amazing Spider-Man 2 review? Which, by the way, this is old questions, but uh, that is up over on the Flick Pick channel. Um, a lot of people are very 50-50 on the Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts. And I'm not trying to bash anyone who likes Spider-Man or likes the movie. That's cool, man. If you like the movie, that's awesome. Did I like it? I think it was typical Hollywood mumbo-jumbo with some really cool Spider-Man scenes throughout the movie. But as far as a movie goes, it wasn't a very solid movie. I mean, especially from the script standpoint. Yeah, it's very divided on people who like that. I'm just going to say this. You know, if you love the character of Spider-Man, you gotta you got to look at that movie and... and and look at it as just a movie, okay? Take the character of Spider-Man out, your beloved favorite character. And it's one of those movies I feel like a lot of fans, fanboys of the movie, are, they have to love it. Why? Because they love Spider-Man. So you have to love this movie. Uh, you give it a year, maybe give it two years, and you're probably a lot of them are going to look back and be like, yeah, the movie was okay. I don't really love it, though. That's just my opinion, but, you know, and that's coming from a Batman fanboy perspective. I mean... But I can honestly say when I watched Batman Forever and, and Batman and Robin, I, I realized even at a young age, those movies were pretty shitty. So, all right, let's not talk about The Amazing Spider-Man 2 for too long. Uh, do you like American History X? Of course. Hey, Master Flickster, if you had to carry around and wield one weapon, what would you choose? A lightsaber, Thor's hammer, or Captain America's shield? The shield's more for defense purposes, and I want to be a little bit more aggressive. I mean, sure, I could throw it and bounce it off shit, but knowing my luck, I'd accidentally throw it you know, off a cliff and it would never be recovered. Thor's hammer would be pretty badass, but a lightsaber? I mean, come on. Come on. You walk into a bar with a lightsaber or Thor's hammer? Which one do you think is going to get you laid that night? The lightsaber. Hey, John, do you think Leonardo DiCaprio could be the next James Bond if they make another movie? No, no, you gotta, you can't have an American play James Bond. You just, for me, you can't. Um, and I, I think I know where you're getting that from because if you watch Inception, especially the beginning scene in Inception where he's shooting people with a silencer, running up behind him and catching him, it felt very James Bondish, or at least in my opinion, it did. Uh, but Leo's James Bond, nah. Hey, John Affleck, in his voice, please. What's your favorite Affleck-directed movie? Mine's The Town. Nah, nah, you and your sister want a white picket fence now. Nah, I'm leaving this whole town in my rear view mirror. Mine would also be The Town, because Ben Affleck kind of talks like this. Um, yeah, I'd say The Town, too. John, do you think they should make a Superbad 2? The first one was great, with a great cast. Love Superbad. One of my favorite kind of comedies since, I don't know, the last 10 years. Came out in 2007, so... Uh, I think the um, they they had a certain amount of time to make Super Bad too, and that time has officially passed. I think Jonah Hill's probably past that right now. Michael Sarah could probably do it. I, I doubt he's doing anything else, but yeah, I I would have liked to have seen that. But the time has come and it has gone. But we're getting Twenty Two Jump Street. Yeah, um, I'm, I do want to see Twenty Two Jump Street actually. Hey John, great videos. If you could do an epic elbow drop on one celebrity's head, who would it be? I don't know. Maybe Tom Cruise. I don't even necessarily hate Tom Cruise. I think he's bizarre, but I would like... To, it would just be nice to, like... Yeah, I elbow drop Tom Cruise's head. People are like, well, that's pretty cool, man. How have you been doing lately? I hope all is well. Well, thanks, man. Uh, doing well. Uh, right now, my house is currently for sale. Uh, it's it's not being foreclosed on or anything. It's not like I was running a meth lab in the basement and they have to condemn my home. Um, what's happening? But I did murder someone, so that's that that's what happened. No, uh, selling it, moving. Um, so maybe in a month or so there might be a different flick cave type command center. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but that's what I'm doing now. Usually hitting the gym every day. Every day. I mean every day, man. Uh, just pumping, drinking the protein, ripping, tearing, uh, and uh, making YouTube videos. That's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to? What do you guys do? I'm curious. All right. Hey, John. I already answered that. Who's your dream girl actress? Ooh. Amber Heard. I, I just want Amber Heard from the movie 
I was gonna say the movie where she has AIDS, but that that's not no, I don't want that. But Amber Heard, yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make this the last question of this cue. Actually, I'm gonna answer three more questions, okay? Three more. Hey, Mr. Flick Your Boogers, have you ever been bullied? If so, how did you deal with it? Um never truly been bullied. Um, I would say I, I was kind of the odd man out. When I was younger, I lived in Georgia. And uh, I just, I don't know why. I, maybe it's because I'm a Yankee from Indiana. Not quite sure. But I just did not fit in in that elementary school I went to. And, you know, I had a few friends. But the majority of people there I just did not get along with. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, was I bullied? No. Um, but definitely odd man out. But, yeah, if you are being bullied, what you got to do, start going to the gym every day, learn jiu-jitsu, and become the biggest badass ever. Here's all it takes, okay? I'm going to give you some advice. Somebody bullies you, you walk up, you be a little bit timid, like, okay, okay, walk past him, be like, you know, keep your head down, just elbow him right in the fucking head, all right? No one's going to fuck with you after that. Why? You're a crazy son of a bitch. No one's going to mess with a crazy son of a bitch, okay? Especially nowadays. Um, and then, um, even if that bully gets back up, but you still got that shot in, so people seen that. He might kick your ass that day, but no one else is going to mess with you from here on out. That's my advice to you. Terrible advice. Uh, you're going to get suspended from school after you do that, but sometimes you just you just got to do what it takes, all right? Because here's the worst thing you can do. If you keep getting bullied and getting your ass kicked every day, you're going to regret that for the rest of your life. You're going to be 35 years old sitting there, and you're going to have like a pent-up rage inside of you just saying, if only I would have fucking hit that guy right in his teeth and knocked him down his throat. I'm telling you, man. And by the way, if you get in a fight, use your elbow, all right? You don't want to break your fist on this guy's teeth. Just elbow him. So much more force. All right. Don't actually do that. Disclaimer. Yeah, fuck it. Do it. You need it. All right. <laughs> Which is your most anticipated movie, Terminator 5 or Star Wars 7? I'm a huge Arnie fan. I love Terminator, but Star Wars 7 all day. All right. One more. One more. Uh, Shrek is love. Shrek is life. What are your reason, reasons for preferring Taxi Driver over Goodfellas, and why is Forrest Gump your favorite movie? You know, is Forrest Gump still my favorite movie? Not quite sure. Um, but I will answer all of these questions. Taxi Driver over Goodfellas. In my opinion, Goodfellas is extremely overrated. Is it a good movie? Absolutely. Is it one of my favorite um, Scorsese movies? No. I, I prefer Casino over Goodfellas. Um, Taxi Driver, to me, it's just... It has more memorable scenes in it. It's just the story, everything about it, you know... I like that story more. It's more interesting to me. You know, Travis uh, Bickle, he's a vigilante. He is a little bit screwed up. He's an anti-hero in a way, and that's that's the favorite kind of that's my favorite kind of character. Uh, plus, he has a really cool gun that slides out of his fucking jacket, and he's got to get tight. He's got to get fit. He's got to clean up the filth and the trash from the city streets. And he's hanging out with a 12-year-old prostitute named Jodie Foster. I mean, hell. Um, <laughs> that's why I like Taxi Driver. I think it's just a better, superior movie. Uh, and Forrest Gump as, as my favorite movie. I, why do I like Forrest Gump so much? Well, you know, when it comes to movies and the storytelling aspect of that movie, my favorite kind of movies are movies that pretty much encompass someone's entire life. I like seeing movies that span an entire lifetime or a long period of time. And, you know, Forrest Gump has all these different storytelling elements. There's so much to offer in that movie, you know. You have so many characters that are interesting and likable. Lieutenant Dan, hilarious. And plus it spans all these famous events that happen throughout time and history. And that's just interesting to me. Plus Forrest Gump, nice guy and a ping pong champion. So is it still my favorite movie? Not quite sure, but it is definitely in my top ten. And uh, I'm going to stand by that for now. All right, so anyway, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up this Q&A. Thanks for all the great questions, and we'll have an all-new Q&A next week. And also, over on the FlickPick channel, I'll be doing an all-new weekly Ask a Movie Anything where we just talk about movie questions. Uh, we're going to try to cut down on the weird shit just a little bit, but just a little bit. So anyway, guys, leave your questions down below or your comments, and I'll answer some more next week. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.